Uh, hi guys, uh, wow, so great to have an opportunity to speak with you about this fantastic series that does not let up. So Desmond, let's just start with you. I have to know if you are yourself a self-proclaimed comic book nerd. Um, you know, I, I, I would call myself a self-proclaimed foodie nerd. Um, okay, uh, I, I'm with you on which... that. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Um, you know, I used to really be into comic books quite a bit when I was younger, specifically Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, that sort of thing. Um, and then I started getting into graf graphic novels as I got a bit older, Watchmen, you know, that sort of fair. I think it's um, an, an incredibly beautiful and artistic way to escape reality and live out your wildest imaginations on paper. Um, but I am now um, a, uh, a father and a husband. Uh, I have a four-year-old and a nine-month-old. And okay. so uh, the past few years, um, I don't think there's anything except for scripts that I was working on that I've made my way all the way through. So uh, that's okay. I'm a comic book reader currently, no, but hopefully in 10 years, I'll be back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you'll raise your children on them. Uh, uh, Jessica, <laughs> I have to ask you because uh, you're so good in this. Honestly, you know, the leader of the troop. Um, are you a comic book nerd? And also, I want to know what it was about this series that you, you just, I had, you had to be a part of it. Oh my gosh, both amazing questions. I read Archie when I was a child. I've read some graphic novels. My husband's very into Why the Last Man and Saga. So I've read those. They're beautiful. The way that comic books both are so, and graphic novels are so incredibly visceral and artistic, but you, it also uses your imagination because you get to imagine what happens between each cell, between each frame. Yeah. And I love that part of that art form. And I think it's one of the reasons why it translates so well to screen sometimes is because you kind of get to jump in and take the best of all of those worlds. Um, I'm not a comic book nerd. I am a D&D &D nerd. I play Dungeons and Dragons, self-proclaimed. But um, <laughs> as far as the series, Gillian Flynn is such an incredible genius and it is an honor to work on anything that she has even touched. And yeah. so when this came my way, not only was I so incredibly excited for the opportunity to work with her, but Sam is just such an amazingly vibrant, passionate, um, un kind of unapologetic human being and getting to step into her shoes and care that passionately about something was such a wonderful experience. And, and I hope that I took some of her essence into my day-to-day -day life. Um, I feel so incredibly lucky I got to be a part of this. And I know that I always look, the first thing I look to is story. Is this a story I think should be told? Is this topical? Is it kind of, does it, does it make me uncomfortable? Does it make me nervous? And this script did all of those things. I could have never imagined how topical it was yeah. until this year. But I, I really think that these are some of the most incredible characters I've ever seen it's shocking, it's thrilling, it's heart-wrenching, it's funny. And I think that audiences will really connect with it in that way. Yeah, I love the bond with this group too. And then, you know, you guys get all thrown together. You all met online, so to speak. And then it's, it's, it's really fantastic. And Desmond, I wanna ask you because um, it is so amazing that Gillian, you know, kudos to her. She gets John Cusack to do his first TV series. <laughs> Yay! So Desmond, what is your favorite John Cusack movie and were you a little bit in awe of having him on set oh man i mean i'm a child of the 80s who grew up in chicago so uh, there weren't uh very many people who were uh, more famous or more prevalent in my life than john cusack i mean maybe michael jordan and maybe oprah but yeah. you know um it's a pretty amazing list to be a part of um my favorite uh, i i mean how is uh, say anything? Um, I, uh, high fidel. I you uh, we could. I, I don't know which one would be my favorite, but I do know that um, it's uh, a totally amazing experience when someone that you've admired for such a long time is as giving and as joyous to work with on set as John was, and being able to just kind of float ideas with each other 
in the trailer about where we're going to take this next scene or kind of, you know, what's going to happen. Um, it, you know, you're, you're getting, you're getting paid to learn from somebody who is yeah. a master at what they already do. And, um, you know, you just soak it up like a sponge. And that's how I was basically the entire time. And on top of it, you know, he's a huge Cubs fan. I'm a huge Cubs fan, you know, both from Chicago. So we got to, you know, kind of, talk Chicago shop for a little while, which was really cool to pick his brain because I remember watching Chicago Bulls games and seeing John Cusack sitting in the front row, Amazing. chatting it up with Michael Jordan. And I was always like, oh. See, that could be you. He now must he'll get you tickets. He'll get you tickets once this pandemic is over. Guys, I wish I had more time with the both of you, but you really both are so fantastic in this series. Um, wow, what a wild ride. I loved it. And uh, I hope, you know, that we'll get to meet in person someday soon. Take care and yeah, stay healthy. Nice. Take care. Yeah, sure. you too, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.